So the groups have been drawn for the Champions League and Europa League. Will we see another year of English domination in Europe? There are seven English teams competing in Europe this season, but when was the last time they and the other 13 Premier League teams competed in Europe? Arsenal last season. The Gunners are always playing on the European stage and very nearly won the whole thing last season. Europa League kingpin Unai Emery guided the Gunners to the final last season, but they got hammered by Chelsea over in Azerbaijan and after finishing outside the top four, Arsenal will once again look to win the B Trophy in European football. Aston Villa 2010-11 Despite only just getting back into the Premier League, Villa are a club with a rich history in European football and the last time they competed in Europe was 9 years ago. After finishing 6th the season prior, Martin O'Neill's side entered the Europa League playoffs in 2010, but at the first hurdle they fell, losing on a away goal throughout Vienna in the playoff. And since then, it's been all downhill up until now. Bournemouth? Never. The Cherries have had a meteoric rise, but are yet to play in Europe. Will Eddie Howe be the man to take Bournemouth to the Europa League or even the Champions League? Brighton? Never. The Seagulls are another side who have never played in Europe and are a bit further away than Bournemouth having struggled to stay in the Premier League last season. Burnley? Last season. Yes, last season Burnley were in the Europa League, we all remember it. After finishing 7th they qualified for the early stages of the competition, entering the second qualifying round. They would first beat Aberdeen, then got past Turkish money bags Istanbul Başakşehir. However, the playoff round would signal the end of the road for the Clarets, losing 4-2 on aggregate to Olympiakos. They only played three rounds, but they had some tough opponents, and Burnley certainly held their own. Chelsea last season Yes, Chelsea were of course playing in Europe last season, they won the Europa League for goodness sake. The Blues made it all the way to the final and beat Arsenal convincingly to win the trophy, the second time they've done it in recent history. Chelsea are synonymous with European football nowadays, having played in every season since the late 90s. Crystal Palace 1998 The Eagles have limited European experience, but back in 1998 they played in the Intertoto Cup, which is a tournament I think he used to win a certificate for. The real prize was qualification at the UEFA Cup, but Palace didn't get that far. Entering in the third round, they were beaten 4-0 on aggregate by Turkish side Samson Spor, who are now compete in the third tier of Turkish football. Everton 2017-18 Two years ago, the Toffees were playing in the Europa League after a strong season under Ronald Koeman, however things would quickly unravel. After navigating a couple of playoff rounds, Everton were drawn in a testing group alongside Atlanta, Lyon and Limassol. Sadly for Everton, they massively flopped in Group A, as Atlanta and Lyon advanced with ease. Leicester City 2016-17 After their amazing Premier League title win, the Foxes went on another adventure, this time in Europe, competing in the Champions League where they would write even more incredible stories. It was their first appearance in Europe's Premier competition and it was certainly one to remember. They would top the group ahead of Porto, setting up a knockout tie with Sevilla. And even they couldn't stop the Foxes, meaning it was down to Atletico Madrid to win the Leicester Champions League dream in the quarterfinals. Liverpool last season. I mean they won the Champions League last season, so yeah that's when they were last in it. They've been in the last two Champions League finals, will they make it a hat-trick this season? Manchester City last season. Man City may be the best team in the land, but they have no European history to really be proud of, their only honour being the 1970 Cup Winners' Cup. Since 2010 they haven't been out of Europe though, yet still unable to reach a final and get their hands on European silverware. Last year they reached the semi-finals, will Pep go one better and win the trophy that eludes Man City? Manchester United last season While this season they're back in the Europa, Manchester United were a Champions League side last season and their run included a dramatic night in Paris where they would be PSG thanks to a late penalty from Marcus Rashford. But Barcelona would end Solskjaer's European dream, ensuring the Red Devils wouldn't win a fourth European Cup. This season it's the Europa League, a competition they won in 2017 under Jose Mourinho. Newcastle United 2012-13 After the Magpies amazingly finished 5th under Alan Pardew, they qualified for the Europa League and his side actually took it pretty seriously. European football was back at St James's Park and they were actually pretty decent, going all the way to the quarter-finals where they met Benfica. Had things gone differently, Newcastle might have advanced, but alas they were beaten 4-2 by the Portuguese Giants. Norwich City 1993-94 Even Norwich have a bit of European history. The first Premier League season ended with Norwich amazingly finishing third, allowing them to qualify for the UEFA Cup. The Canaries made it to the third round of the competition, being limited by Inter Milan 2-0 on aggregate. However, their second round tie was quite something, knocking out German giants Bayern Munich, including a 2-1 win away from home. Sheffield United 1994-95 
By the looks of it, the Blades have only ever played in one European competition, and that was the Anglo-Italian Cup back in the mid-90s. But what's the Anglo-Italian Cup, I hear you cry? Well, it was a competition held between 1970 and 1996 between English and Italian sides. In 1992, it took the place of the full Members' Cup, become a European competition for second-tier sides. As for Sheffield United, they were knocked out in the group stage. Southampton 2016-17 after being knocked out in the playoffs the year prior, Southampton went straight into the Europa League group stage in 2016 after finishing 6th in the Premier League. The Saints came so close to getting out of their group too, which interestingly saw Inter Milan finish rock bottom. The Saints went into the final game knowing a win would see them through, but last they drew 1-1 with Hapoel Beersheba, meaning the Israeli side were the ones who advance, ending Southampton's latest European adventure. Tottenham last season Tottenham were one half of the most boring Champions League finals ever last season, losing 2-0 to Liverpool in a game that was dead in the first minute after Musa Sosoto's really weird handball. Spurs are Champions League regulars now, but their success has been in the Europa League, or UEFA as it was known, winning it twice in 1972 and 1984. Watford 1993-94 Ok, so they did actually play in the UEFA Cup in the 80s, but the last time they competed on the European stage was in the good old Anglo-Italian Cup in the early 90s. It was over pretty quick, losing in the preliminary round in a group with Luton Town and Southend United. To think, if Man City hadn't smashed them in the FA Cup last season, they would be in the Europa League right now. But no, they did get smashed. West Ham 2016-17 In the past few years, West Ham have been in the Europa League twice, but not for long. Their last time was in the 2016-17 season, their first in the shiny new stadium that they barely pay any money for. But it was a rough start of life at the London Stadium, being eliminated from the Europa League in the playoff round to a Romanian side, Astra Giugiu, to a Romanian side. And the thing that killed them off was a 1-0 defeat at home in front of almost 57,000 people. Bit embarrassing really, almost as embarrassing as not being able to say a team's name. And finally Wolves 1980-1981. They're in the Europa League this season performing well, but before now you've got to go back to 1980 to find Wolves' last European campaign. They were in the UEFA Cup after finishing 6th and winning the League Cup the season earlier, and to be honest I don't know whether it was the League or the Cup that allowed them to qualify. Either way they didn't last long, losing in the first round to PSV Eindhoven. So that's the last time each Premier League club played in Europe before this season. Let us know who you think will win the Champions League and Europa League in the comments below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.